Hey guys, it is me, Hepsoyuk, and welcome back to Grounded. So today is the day when we'll finally move away from this shack and we'll build something better. Because even though this base is awesome, we don't even have a floor and I want to build some more things. Because check this out, this armor is now half broken and in order to repair it, we need to get a little bit of glue. And to get that glue, we have to build ourselves a grinder. And I almost have all of the resources required to build that grinder, we just don't have enough weed stems. And speaking of weed stems, I think we will learn how to craft ourselves a weed stem base. So let's go to this ASL term. Terminal. Let's go to the science shop and here we have the fortified basis. So I think let's learn that there we go We've just purchased it. So we've just learned how to craft lots of new things. Wait, first of all I just want to get this guy real quick Come here meals on wheels. We got to get some food. So look at this now We can craft a bit different floors So this is the grass floor and we can craft some stem floors But for that we'll require to get lots of food rope. Oh, there's a crow feather Let's definitely get that crow feather here right now. That'll be very very worth it Let's chop it down and let's see how many crow feathers we'll get sometimes we get one sometimes we get more than one and this time We've gotten one two three four Five. I don't think I've ever gotten five crow feathers out of one big crow feather. So who knows? Maybe I'll even build a base somewhere here-ish. We'll figure that out. But hey, let's chop down this husky weed just so that we can start crafting a grinder. So there we go. Let's get those weed stems and let's craft ourselves this grinder. I don't know where I'll place it. I mean, for now, let's place it here in the base. <laughs> you know what? It still fits. <laughs> it's still good. There we go. Let's super build it. So inside of this grinder, we should be able to craft glue. I just don't know how one unlocks it. But we can also now chop down these things down. Check this out. We can get some grass planks and I'm pretty certain we can recycle them. Or should I say we can grind them? Let's go to the grinder and now let's get some plant fibers. And hey, we'll be able to get 15 plant fibers out of five grass planks. That's great. All right, so from the short research that I've done, we need to get some sort of a glue masher. And in order to get that glue masher, we need to progress a bit further through the story because we cannot get glue inside of this grinder. Here, we can only get the plant fibers and that's it. And inside of this spinning wheel, we can craft crude rope for much cheaper. So for one plant fiber, we can craft one crude rope. So let's actually craft a lot of that crude rope here. And from even more research that I've done in order to get that glue masher, we need to go to the black and hill and that black and hill is supposed to be located probably maybe somewhere here ish I have no idea where but to go there We also need a few brad bursts and in order to craft them We need to get some more red ant eggs. So let's try to get them I've also learned that you can craft this red ant armor and ants will not attack you So let's probably craft the red ant set there go red ant knee guards Let's get those knee guards and now let's equip this entire armor. So those ants should not be attacking us I'm there we go. We've gotten ourselves some new armor. So there we go. There's this ant hill, but I'm still pretty certain they're not going to be happy if I steal their eggs. That, but I will see. So let's go inside and let's see if I'll get attacked. But I don't think I should get attacked. I'm also going to steal those slimy molds. Okay, look at these. They're not attacking me. The red soldier ants are not attacking me. That is very cool. Also, somewhere here, we should be able to get more of that quartzite. Hey look there, at this. Buddy. There are a few eggs. One, two, three, four. There are lots of those eggs here. Last time when I came here, this place was almost empty. There were no eggs, but now there are so many of them. So I'll just need to grab a bunch of these eggs and bring them back to the base. There's also this huge brittle quartzite. Let's try to destroy it because this thing respawns every few days, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe every five days, maybe every three days. So we'll be able to come back here later and get more of that brittle quartzite. All right, there's one red ant egg. There we go. Just took it. Also, I did not know that, but a lot of you told me that those red ant eggs can hatch. So even if I keep them inside of the chest, they can hatch. And that's how those ants spawned in our base because I could almost swear that I had a few of those red ant eggs at the base, but now I have zero. So they just hatched. That's what happened. There we go. We got another egg. So I think both of these eggs should suffice. So I couldn't find more ant eggs. So maybe hey one there, of those explosion buddy. things should be enough. Okay, there's a firefly. I don't think I need to fight them. <laughs> I'm just gonna avoid that fight. It's not my fight to take. All right, so I'm gonna drop these eggs in the inventory and hopefully they do not despawn. So what else do we need for those explosion things? So to craft this brad burst, we need some dry grass chunks, which are super easy, but we also need to get some more fungal growth. So we need three more fungal growth. All right, so somewhere around this... Okay, I've never heard this guy say that. But it's somewhere around this place. There's... Okay, there's an infected ladybug. I really don't want to fight her. But I wouldn't mind fighting that infected larva. There we go. Let's get that infected larva real quick. Those things are supposed to give me fungal growth. There we go. One more attack. Die schmuck. Okay, that was epic. We've gotten two fungal growth. So I need one more fungal growth and then we should be done. Oh no, there's this uh, lawn mite probably. There we go. Didn't mean to fight Ladybug. Let's deal with that infected mite. I got that. I'll go and pick up the loot. I'll get this thing. 
I'll pick this up. And I've gotten one more fungal, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Time to skedaddle from this plate. Let's get back home. We have enough stuff to craft those explosion things. I know that I said we'll be working on the base, but we'll build that base a bit later. So let's go to our workbench and look at this. We can craft one of those and let's craft another one of those bread bars. So I finally at least those red and eggs are not gonna hatch. Also recently we've gotten a brand new update. So now we can click the sword button and everything's gonna sort out. So we can also sort our inventory. Boom. Everything's gonna sort out here. So that was a pretty nice quality of life update. And speaking of updates, a lot of the tools now are half broken and I think I think it's because we've gotten another update where all the items have gotten twice the durability. So probably that's why most of our items are broken. That's why this ladybug armor is so destroyed. Probably that's why we need to repair it. All right, so we just slept. We got another beautiful morning. At least it's a beautiful morning for us, but not for those guys. I've also just learned that you can cook three meat pieces at the same time. Say, so let's get those weevils. The saddest part is that we cannot stack any raw weevil meat, and I don't really know what kind of food stacks in this game. But hey, let's get back to the base. Let's start this thing, and look at this, guys. We can cook now three pieces of meat at the same time. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is awesome. Oh, there's another crow feather piece. This is lovely. Let's start picking them up. I have no idea. Maybe they've increased the drop rate of those crow feather pieces because it was kind of hard to get them, but now they're kind of everywhere. Maybe the longer you play, the more feather pieces there will be in the world. And recently, we've also gotten another recipe on how to to craft a canteen plus so there we'll be able to store more water so let's get our shovel let's get these grubs because i still need to get a few more grubs let's deal with the poor grub so we've gotten two grub hides we need to get some more grubs though i think we need three grub hides and while we're here we can get even more grubs why not for the future right let's get this one let's deal with this grub there we go we found one more grub hide Let's get this guy. Let's get the grub hides. Okay, so we are back at our workbench. Let's craft this canteen plus. Let's probably also get rid of our old canteen here because we totally don't need that. Let's get this better canteen. And let's see how many dewdrops we can store in this canteen now. There we go. Let's shoot this droplet down. Let's get the canteen thing. Oh my goodness, this thing is rolling. Let's scoop it. There we go. We already store here one scoop of water. Oh, we can store a fourth drop. There we go. Let's scoop the drop. Oh, that's it. Canteen Plus is full, so we can store only four drops here. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. And check this out. Our three pieces of meat have cooked, so hey, let's take them into our inventory. Sadly, those pieces of meat don't stack. So I think it's about time we started going into that black and laboratory. If I'm not mistaken, we gotta go somewhere there-ish, and we gotta go through the haze. So we'll have to equip that gas mask. I don't really know if the gas mask will lose any durability once we are in that haze. But hey, I guess we will figure that out soon enough, right? So where do I go? I go there. How do I even get to that place there? I don't know. We'll see. Let's equip the gas mask. You can be smart, there we go. fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Yes, we did it. There we go. I'm inside of this place now. Don't really want to go down. Will there be a way to cross it? All right, I see those huge rakes. So let's... I don't like anything that I see here. Do I need more gas masks? Maybe, or maybe one gas mask should be enough. I have no idea. It looks like there's some sort of gas mask durability. Well, let's go on top of this thing, and I think... I don't think I'm going in the right direction. I don't think Black Ant Hill is somewhere here. There are lots of things going on down there. Also, there is a bombardier thing. So we could maybe go and harvest that bombardier. So we could go on top of this thing and plug that hole there, but for that we need to get a level 2 shovel. So I don't think we can do that yet, and I can't go through there. Maybe I need to go there-ish, that way. So we'll see. I need to go down now. Anyways, there we go. Let's use this dandelion thing. Let's get the sting bug. And the... There we go. The bombardier parts. Let's pick them up. We've just gotten a free bombardier part. Not gonna say no to that. Let's go through the haste. We still have at least lots of durability in the gas mask. That is lovely. Whoever's behind us, I don't like it. Cannot harvest that. And am I going at least the right-ish way? Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. Well. All right, haze lab. Okay, so we just discovered a haze lab. Is it here? Well, that's the haze lab. What do I need to do here? Okay, we got it. Oh, so we need to explode this thing and then I'll get in the haze. Maybe let's go for it. Maybe let's not go for the black ant lab. Let's go to the haze lab right now. Let's equip it. Let's drop it. I think we'll go poof. Okay, so maybe we'll, we require those explosion things for the for this lab, not for the ant lab. All right, there we go. Let's activate it. So I did not expect that we'll get here yet. 
But whatever, we are in the laboratory, so let's explore it. Hopefully this laboratory is gonna be as cool as the previous laboratory, the pond laboratory, because the pond laboratory was really great, I loved it. It wasn't like some sort of a maze like the hedge laboratory. But hey, whatever, let's get the brittle quartzite shards. I think we can pick that stuff up already. Some fiber bandages, cannot get that soda. But I can't get this thing. Say, so let's pick it up. There's some sort of a resource analyzer that I cannot even use. There's a cassette. Let's learn more about it. Trudy was right. As always. Perhaps she should have been the inventor and not me. I should have listened to her when she insisted that I stop the experiments. Okay, but what's going on with this guy? I will have nothing to show for it. No Trudy and the kids. No spacer. Not even my own health. The longer I'm here, the more I'm... Lumping up, aging, folding, raisining. But why? What am I becoming? A wrinkly virus, flailing helplessly in the dirt with the mushrooms. They are my family now. Though we only okay. branched on the evolutionary tree a little over a billion years ago, I can feel us getting closer again already. What? We're all a bunch of fun guys down here, aren't we? <laughs> Oh, don't look at me like that. At least no one ever heard of a raisined mushroom, did they? Did they? So basically, Wendell or whatever his name is, I keep forgetting <laughs> the guy's name. All right, Wendell, right now. Wendell, but Wendell. So Wendell keeps getting worse and worse here. That's what we know. Whatever, I've just gotten some things from there. There's nothing else I can click. So let's progress a bit further. Let's perhaps get this torch. Will I need my gas mask here? I mean, if we'll require it, I'll quickly equip it. Oh, no. There's the guy. The schmuck. Tasty. Let's deal with the tasty dude. Real quick. One more shot to the dome. And one more shot here. There we go. Got the guy. Let's get some r -r 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 raw science. And please tell me this is the hedge lab and not something else. I cannot go there to explore that part. Oh, no. There's another one of those guys. More tasties. Maybe I even should get my weapon. Let's get it. Shut your mouth! There we go. Stop moving. Okay, let's get some snicker bars. That is lovely. Let's activate this. Oh no! Oh no! Look at those! Those are infected mites. Infected lawn mites. I'll go there. We'll check it out. Another cassette. Big brain time. Attempts to reverse cell age in mushrooms seem to be going well. Mutations are volatile but productive. Shift from phase one to two was almost a blur. There might be a reason it seems like a blur, if I may be so bold. Well, who asked you, Burgle? Shouldn't you be tending to your tasks instead of eavesdropping to the intercoms? Huh? Now, where was I? Hmm. Oh, yes! My friends, Morasmius Oriatus here. The answer is hiding in that moist, supple flesh. And once I have it, I'll be back to normal, Wendell, in no time. Just like it was before this all fell apart. I'll walk right. in the presentation room and show those animant... <laughs> ominent schmucks I <laughs> Very beautiful word, schmucks. I love it. <laughs> My like favorite that? word. Director Schmechter. Trudy and the kids will come back. Everything will be back to normal. Uh, I just need these blasted shrooms to reveal their secrets to me. Forgive me, Dr. Tatali. Did you say you wanted mushrooms on that? All right. <laughs> so it looks like that Dr. Wendell, Dr. Tully or whatever, he keeps getting worse and worse. What? Understandable. Let's see what we can get here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Can't open it up. Let's go through here. Oh my goodness. I've gotten a little bit of damage. But hey, that's fine. We got this ladybug armor and it should restore our health. Look at this. We're not in full health yet. It should start going up. Why isn't it going back up? We should have the increased healing, but it, I'm not healing up unless it takes time to heal up. I'll open this up very soon. Okay, we got more brittle things, more snicker bars, more snicker bars. Well, whatever. For some reason, the health doesn't want to go back up. I'll check this chest. We're going to get some more sturdy marble shards and brittle quartzites. Look at this inventory. It is full. It's filled to the brim. I'm gonna get rid of the... These things. There we go. This way we'll have some more space. Let's sort the backpack. This button is amazing. I'm so glad they added it. 
just right. Okay, so there's something else on this place. So there's something else on this board. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's activate this. Why that doesn't work? Or did that work? Well, I have activated something. Uh, stop it! Let me through! I don't think there's anything else here. There we go. Let's leave this place. Enter the haze lab. Is it even a haze lab? I don't think that's even a haze lab, is it? Look at this. The chip is supposed to be on another side. The super tech chip, but it, but it's not here. Well, whatever. Let's leave this place then. We can go on this side. Infected weevil. Let's deal with these schmucks. More infected weevils. There we go, another one of those guys. Let's get my torch and let's get this pinch whacker. Maybe I could loot these infected weevils. We can just get some fungal growth. So why not? I'll drop these weevil noses. We definitely don't need them. Let's once again sort the backpack. I love this button. And something tells me we are not in the right place here. I don't think this is the hedge lab, the, the haze lab. Take this! <laughs> I kept running around that thing. Alright, maybe I can activate this. I mean, why not? Let's activate it. Even though the door is already open, but... Whatever. I'll activate it regardless. Maybe that's gonna do something. Nothing here, nothing here. I'll go lower. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, will I have to swim? I did not get that underwater object thing so that I could see underwater. And that's not cool at all. Alright, let's get the thing. So will I have to come back because I don't have enough oxygen for it? There's also a huge spider under the water. I need to see what's going on here. Well, let's try to swim here again. Do we really need to go underwater? Yes, we do. Oh, there's something else here. Look at this. Unless it's the same door. No, there's definitely... That's not the same door. That ain't the same door. Hello, hello. Okay, we've gotten some sort of a note. Let's quickly read that. All right, so basically this document is talking about how those insects became infected with that fungal growth and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. And Dr. Wendell feels bad about them. Understandable. Thank you for that epic note. Ladybug! Well, let's try to use the crossbow on it. That's my best weapon that I got. Oh! That ain't cool. Shot in the nose. Shot in the nose. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Maybe... Wait, what kind of arrows am I using? Get the feather arrows. Because they should do more damage. There's nowhere I can even hide from that ladybug. So let's restore the stamina. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's perhaps get this pinch whacker, perhaps. And how about I use my pinch whacker on ladybug? Okay. Let's avoid all of those things. Let's get back my arrows. You know what? The pinch whacker is kind of decent. There we go. A few more shots. There we go. Infected ladybug is dead. That was our first infected ladybug. Let's pick it up. A uh, truffle tussle. The new mutation detected. What is that mutation? What did we unlock? The fungus of the haze has seeped into your tiny being, lending its power to your unarmed attacks. Oh, okay. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. Let's get that. Anything else here? Anything else useful? Any secrets? Any free loot? Any new insanely powerful weapons? Oh no, the lawn might just spawned out of nowhere. So let's get that infected lawn mite. Lawn mite plaza. I think we need to... Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that thing just exploded in my face. That, that, I did not expect that. Oh wow, we just activated that in, in time. Uh, more of those lawn mites. Maybe I can get them with the crossbow. Oh, we don't have any more space in the inventory to even get rid of those things. Wait, how about I open up my inventory? Let's drop some things. Let's eat one of those snicker bars. Let's destroy stack of lawn mite things. Let's get the crossbow. And let's deal with these infected lawn mites. Because I think the crossbow does a bit more damage to them. There we go. Let's deal with this guy. Look at all of these infected lawn mites. I'm so glad that we crafted this better armor. Because there's no way I'd be able to deal with all of them. With our old garbage armor. There we go. Let's deal with these guys. Another shot. Look at these schmucks! They just don't stop shooting. Alright, I'm out of stamina. Let's restore the stamina a bit. I don't even... Maybe I can... Look at them. Wait, what are they vulnerable to? Let's go to data and let's check that infected lawn mite. Infected mite, so weakness, chopping, fresh, and slashing. So what if I get this axe, perhaps? Doesn't... I mean, maybe they are a bit weak to it. I don't know. 
Whatever, let's pick this stuff up. They could have probably just exploded, or maybe they don't explode. In any case, I'll get back my feathers. It looks like my inventory is full again, so let's trash one stack, another stack. Let's get back my pinch whacker and let's go through the door here. Let's see if we'll find anything useful. Oh, another note. This has gone poorly. Very, very poorly. The essence of failure, the pinnacle of its craft. Local fauna? Berserk! Mushrooms? Exploding! Yes. My condition? Like a baby toe after a long bath. Burgle, are you there? <laughs> that was a good joke, dude. Is I just got test? that. Yes, Burgle, it's a test. Now listen carefully. I'm abandoning this facility immediately. Initiate the blazed earth protocol. Okay. Dr. Tully, simulations indicate a 95.283% probability of catastrophic failure. I assure you, the percentages are much higher than that. Now do it. All right. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. <laughs> Why did you make fake beeping sounds? You said this was a test. I was being sarcastic. <sighs> Complete the lab lockdown, blast the canister per protocol, and meet me in the black ant lab. All right, so it's kind of cool we are going uh, in order because all those chips are marked so this is chip number three and there's the chip number four So we'll have to go to the black ant lab. Let's get this chip now. We're gonna bring it to uh, burgle See we did a great thing here. That's great. We've done the haze lab and that was kind of quick I did not expect to get to the haze lab this quickly and we've also just gotten some more of those explosion things We have four of those brad bursts so that is great. We got some more brittle quartz sides, more other quartz sides, marbles. Uh, don't explode in my face. But hey, his joke about him looking like a toe after a long shower, that was a good one. All right, so let's perhaps leave this place, except I, I don't see anything here. There are some basic spiders, but where am I going even? So it looks like for this place, we definitely need a bit better gear because there is nothing I can do here. I can't destroy them to breathe underwater. These water fleas don't give me breathing thing. And let's go outside. What even time is it? It's uh, 9 p.m. So we are back at the base. It looks like I don't have enough space there. So let's grab one more box. I'm still planning on upgrading this base because yeah, so far this is just a tiny shack. We will make it better. But hey, let's build another chest now. We can store here more loot. So I just came back here to this haze laboratory because who knows, maybe I can get to that anthill from here because I tried running around the world and I couldn't find that black anthill. So let's go here on the water. I should have perhaps taken the fins because I did not get the fins. Plus this slime torch thing is not gonna last forever. That's not cool either. There we go, let's destroy this thing. One more attack. Let's go through here. Can I breathe here perhaps? Oh yes, we can breathe here. That's something. That is something. So let's go straight and let's see what this place is all about. Can we get some secrets? Those water fleets are kind of stupid. Kind of dumb. Okay, so here it's much more bright now. It is much, much brighter. Exposed pipe. Oh wow. Oh man, now I'm hungry. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, there's some sort of a tiny, tiny shovel. All right, so we just left this pipe, and now let's try to explore this place. So maybe that's how we're supposed to get to the black and hill, because I don't really know how are you supposed to climb through that wall. Maybe you need to build some sort of makeshift stairs or not. But I, I'm glad that I got this set, and uh, we came here. Leaning shovel, all right. So we just found here some sort of a shovel. So I'm trying to get probably to this chip here, because it's around this place. And from the research that I've done, maybe that is going to be like some sort of minotaur key chip. I don't know. Cracked rock. What can I do with it? Explosive required. I don't want to waste any of those explosives. I don't think we'll get anything useful from it. Sturdy marble. Let's get that sturdy marble. I'm not going to say no to that. All right, so we found another water thing. And if I'm not mistaken, that's where we'll get that minotaur key. And there we go. This is another exposed pipe. So somewhere here we should be able to get that minotaur key. Except I see here some more brittle quartzite. Is that brittle one or is it sturdy one? No, that's just brittle quartzite. I don't even know what can we do with that brittle quartzite. Because I think we've upgraded most of our armor, but whatever. Let's keep gathering it. And hey, perhaps somewhere here-ish. We should be able to get that minotaur key. There we go. There's that guy. I have no idea how on earth are you supposed to find it. 
but I, I did it. We got that Minotaur key, so now we need to go through some sort of a Minotaur maze, and then we'll be able to get another Burgle chip. This place seems kind of cool. We've just basically unlocked an entire new area here. So I don't know much about this Minotaur's maze. All I know is that it's got to be somewhere around this picnic table or on top of the picnic table. Is that the picnic table? That's got to be it. There's the Bombardier Beetle. I'll try to avoid them. There's a Black Ant. That's our first ever Black Ant. Let's get it. Oh, wow. They're much stronger than the other ant. Than other ants. Okay. Got her. Got it. There we go. We've gotten some black ant parts. There we go. That is something. Except it's kind of weird that black ants are stronger. From what I know, red ants sting way harder than black ants. But what do I know about ants, huh? Just because red ants sting humans harder maybe doesn't mean that they're stronger. Oh, there's some sort of a... Pepsi? A milk molar bottle? Uh, excuse me? Will I get some milk molars inside? Can I get here or is it the bottom? Yes, that's the bottom. I can't get inside from that side. We gotta go up. Say, so, let's definitely get those milk molars. We absolutely need them. We could even build our own base maybe inside of this bottle. Can I get here? Yes, we can get inside of this place. Let's go. Let's bust this milk molar open. One. Two hits. And there we go. Three hits and four hits. Now, let's get that thing. We've gotten a milk molar. Epic, epic, epic. Now we need like, I don't know, maybe 20 more of those and then we'll be able to upgrade our character fully. <laughs> All right, we got another ant. Right, Let's Shadows. perhaps try to get it. What you got now? I'm sorry, red. I'm sorry, black worker ant. It is what it is. I just need those black and parts and that's it. But hey, that's good. That means we are going kind of in the right direction because if we started seeing those black ants, that means black ant hill has got to be around this place. Whoa! I just wanted to see what's gonna happen here. I didn't think that this thing is gonna crush me. Whoa, so we have to actually explode this thing. I thought, you know what? I'll try what we can get there. I was ready to reload, but hey, we've actually gotten some loot. That's epic. Well, not loot, but we've unlocked the path to get on that picnic table because I kept running around this thing. I had no idea how to get there. Okay, there are a bunch of bees. I don't know if they're gonna attack me or not. But what I do know is that we'll go to that Minotaur's thing. I don't know where it is, but it's got to be somewhere. All right, there's some um, crow feathers. Let's probably get that crow feather right now. Even though it didn't come here for these crow feathers, but hey, let's get the crow feather. Why not? How many of them we've gotten here now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's a juice box. There are some plates, but how do I get to the top? Do I have to build here myself? Billy hog bite. What on earth is a billy hog bite? It's like some sort of meat, probably. What does it even say about it? A moistened meaty morsel of get and jet billy hog. All right, so let's perhaps get on another side if we can get it here. There we go. There's the spoon. So I should be able to use the spoon. Hopefully those bees are not going to attack me. They seem relatively peaceful. They're not peaceful. They're not peaceful. I take my words back. Okay, let's go here. Schmuck. I think it'll be just better if I use the crossbow on them. There we go. It's going to be way better with the crossbow. Stop it! There we go. Got one bee. And there we go. Let's try to get one more bee then. There we go. Got both of them. All right. Some sort of a nice pencil. Kind of epic. Don't need it, buddy. Let's go higher. So I feel like we are getting definitely closer to that Minotaur's maze. And after we get this key, I think we'll be able to unlock that special level 3 tool. A level 3 club, level 3 melee weapon, whatever you want to call it. A cooler box. How do I get here? Okay, we got to bust this thing open with a level 2 tool. Ooh, we did it. Level 1 tool wouldn't have worked, but level 2 tool. All right, we got a plate here. Anything useful on top of the plate? Perhaps some food that I can steal? What is this? Salt shard. Let's get that salt shard. From what I've heard, you can craft some salt arrows. All right, there's some black ants. I like that. Some sort of a cassette. Very cool. Anything here that I can get? No, those are just splinters. And I can't do anything with those splinters because this is just a level 2 axe. We need a level 3 axe. There's an Oreo. We can probably buzz this Oreo sandwich. Is it going to explode completely? Oh, no. We just get a piece of it. Okay, cool. And then we can get probably more Oreo pieces to eat. Understandable. Have a nice day. And hey, let's try to go through this Minotaur's maze. Maze almost fell in the hole. I'm pretty certain lots of people fell there. 
It's gotta be the case. There we go. There's a field station. So let's get here and let's analyze the salt shard. We can craft salt arrows, just as I said. That is awesome. Let's analyze the black ant parts. We can craft this black ant shovel. So we needed this level two tool. And then I think we'll be able to disable the, the haze. Like that basically green gas. And let's analyze this black ant part. Black ant shield and little black helm. Epic. So we can finally craft this level two shield. I wanted to unlock it for a while now. All right, what do we have here? More salt shards? Uh, apple bits. Let's get those apple bits. Let's try to analyze those. Maybe we can craft something with them. Maybe we can just eat those apple bits. Everything is understandable. Everything's possible. Oh, there's another note here. Embiggening logistics. Brain bad when sips stop. All right, so basically this note is speaking about some random embiggening stuff. I have no idea what it's talking about. We have like that embiggening cell and we've gotten some embiggening logistics note. That's it. That's all I know about it. Oh, we've gotten an apple piece, but we can't really analyze it. So I'll probably consume it. Why do I keep eating those things when I'm not even hungry? Nobody can stop us. Oh, another crow feather. So there are lots of bees. Maybe you need to get some bee armor. And they won't attack you. And look at this, we are so close to this chip. We gotta get that chip. Come on, Wendell. Couldn't okay. you have left us a sword or something? Yeah, that would have been better. He left us cubes. Alright, so this gotta be Minotaur's maze. So we just climbed up here. It looks like a maze. So it's gotta be a maze. Where is a chest? Can I no, didn't mean to get here. Whatever, let's find half ant, half man? All cool. Alright, half man, half ant. Epic, epic, nothing here, nothing here. So where is a chest? We gotta find a chest here. And inside of that chest... Uh, Minotaur's maze's end. Okay, so that's the end of it. Uh, there we go, some more big brain science. Oh, there's the chest probably. We'll have to get the chest, but there's also something else behind that wall. I should be able to parkour here. There's also a little bit of that chewing gum. We should be able to get that chewing gum and plug the hole in that canister so that the haze stops. Oh, that's only 100 Voss science. I thought we'll get more. And yeah, check this out. In order to get it, we need to have a level to shovel and I still don't have it. Okay, we got here another crow feather. Let's just chop it down. As soon as we get back to the base, we'll be able to ditch our level one arrows and just get level two arrows. Well, here we've gotten only one piece of feathers. Yeah, sometimes they do drop only one piece of feathers. All right, that's gotta be the chest, but it's guarded by those bees. But I am ready to open it up. Get it! Give me the milk molar upgrade! Let me in! Let's get it. Let's get this a picnic burgle chip and that thing. So yeah, this picnic burgle chip is gonna unlock us lots of cool things. As I said, like that level three mace, mint mace. It'll be awesome. It'll be a very strong tool. I don't know if it'll be stronger than our pinch whacker. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. But I think we escaped those bees. They're not gonna chase us anymore. There we go, they're gone. Oh wait, there's something there. Look at that, there's the charcoal. I do know there's some sort of a sizzling katana, but that's all I know about it. You need to complete some sort of a challenge. Before, there was a different way to get it. Now you need to complete some sort of a challenge, so maybe it's here. At least I think getting back to the base is a bit easier, because look at this. There's this wall, and we are kind of already on the other side. All right, so we are back here at the laboratory. Let's give him that burgle chip that we got, and then one more super chip. There we go. I found an auxiliary chip. We've gotten 2,500 raw science. Much better. Society. For new recipes, so let's see what kind of new recipes we've got in here. We have 11,000 raw science. And look at this, we got this mint mace. So to craft the mint mace, we'll require to get the globs. And I still don't know if I can craft those globs. Then we need to get tough gunk, which I don't have, but hey, let's learn the mint mace. We got ourselves the mint mace. Also the diving lantern upgrade for 1,500 science. I think we should get that. It'll last longer because I can't really see underwater. And we also got a few milk molars. So let's go to the mega milk molars. And let's perhaps increase our max arrow stack size. Maybe that'll be cool. Let's go. Let's get that. All right, so check this out. Now we know how to craft this. Mint mace, but we need to get mint globs and I still don't know where does one get those mint globs We'll need to probably complete the black ant laboratory to unlock those mint globs and same thing probably goes to those tough gunks Or maybe you can get those tough gunks by fighting some enemies as it says in the upper yard Okay, so we'll get that but hey, let's talk to this guy once again and let's give him another chip I've got one more super chip Oh wow, thanks. Oh 2500 bro science one more time. Process it. The haze super chip. Yes, Dr. indeed. Cooley tried deciphering the ageless properties of mushrooms. Disaster struck before he was able to finish. All of these great m -m memories are coming back. Well, well, well. Some good news. A piece to the ambiguous cocktail recipe is now restored. 
but not all of it, unfortunately. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java-matic. Does that mean anything to you? Java-matic, the coffee maker. A coffee maker. Interesting development. Although I cannot say I love the taste of coffee, and I certainly have no clue how this fits into the equation. However, okay. we are making progress solving this mystery. But we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. Okay, so we'll try to get that other super chip. Maybe we'll require to get like some sort of coffee thing to get that embiggening cell. To power up that embiggening cell with coffee. What do I know? You unlock the recipe embiggening cocktail. So how does one craft that embiggening cocktail? I don't think we can craft it yet. All right, so we've just unlocked the advanced production buildings. Let's do that. Let's just learn it. 2500 raw science. We can get mushroom bricks. Okay, cool. We can finally craft the oven and mushroom bricks. So we have lots of new tools to craft. There we go. There's this oven, but we need to get every charcoal chunk. Okay. And for that, we probably will have to get back to that picnic table. Oh, to craft this embiggening cocktail, we need a gum nugget. And then we need two more pieces that I still don't know where to get them. Okay, cool. We probably need to get to the ant laboratory and inside of that ant laboratory, we'll get more information. So I think it's about time we started building another shelter. I don't know where I'll build it. I kind of want to be close to the ASL terminal. This place feels like our base. So you know what we could do? Perhaps this rock could be our base. I think that's kind of genius. We can even build on the rock, so let's do it. We can build the scaffolding. This will be our floor. There we go. Then we'll build here some stairs and that's how we'll get to the base. All right, so let's start working on it. Also, I don't really know if you knew that or not, but hey guys, check this out. Let's say we have some stuff in the inventory and these chests are already gonna have some certain items in it. You can just click N. I don't know what kind of button to click if you're playing on a controller, but you click N and those items are gonna get automatically deposited in these boxes. That is awesome. I figured it out by accident. I accidentally clicked N instead of M and my items got deposited. So this thing is gonna save us a bunch of and bunch of time. So we're almost done with that mushroom slurry. Let's get that mushroom slurry. And let's try to analyze it and then let's get the bricks and let's start crafting a brick base. Big brain. There we go. Let's analyze that. There's nothing we can do, but I'm pretty certain we can craft brick walls with that stuff. Oh, we need an oven for it. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have an oven. All right, so let's finish building the stem pallet and let's fill it up with those stems. There we go. Let's chop down this husky weed. We should be able to get a bunch of and bunch of stems from it. There we go. They're gonna fit on the pallet. So hey, let's finish building the scaffolding. At least it's not that expensive. And then we'll need to start building floors and walls. We've gotten another dream! Excuse me, so apparently we get these new dreams every that time we Schmechter. unlock something. Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. They We're had no skin. eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then, what progress has been made on Kobolin space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh... Uh, we're still working on that this dude formula. looks very weird like know, we that we are dreaming we look very weird process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted uh, too bad for you little ones prepare the specimens for termination okay so they'll terminate me <sighs> this isn't what I signed up for or maybe they won't terminate me. I don't know what's going on. What is he going to tell us now? Director Schmechter? <laughs> Come on, Dream. If I ever see that dude again, I'm going to make him eat all the gross stuff I've had to choke down here. And Director reasoning? Schmechter. Damn, his yard food is worse than pizza for causing nightmares. Okay, Robo Director Schmechter is real. I hope you know what's going on. So we could build a grass floor here, so perhaps let's build the grass floor. Wait, not the grass floor, but the stem floor thing. And let's start building the floor. There we go, one floor. So I've been thinking, and I feel like we should probably 
craft a simple base with level one walls, like with simple grass walls. And as soon as we unlock that oven, I'll craft brick walls. I think that'll be the smartest thing to do. So hey, let's select these simple walls because I'll want to craft brick walls anyway. So why waste now so many stems on level two walls when we can get level three, right? So there we go. Let's build this. So now let's add all those planks in the base here. So all we need is just one more grass plank. Let's get it. Do we need these things or do we need clover leaves? Oh, we need just sprigs. There we go. We got the door and let's finish this. And there we go, ladies and gents. This is our base inside. Looks kind of nice. As I said, we will craft level three walls out of the mushrooms. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. There we go. I've just gotten some acorn things. And let's build the spiral stairs here. There we go. Now we'll be able to go here like this to the second floor. So there we go. Already kind of started upgrading the base. So look at this. We got this. We enter inside. We will have these awesome stairs. We go to the second floor and boom. This will be our second floor. So check this out. This is how we enter the base. Obviously, we'll craft the roof and everything as soon as we get those mushrooms. I'll be able to craft better walls. But this is where I have my chest. We got the workbench, the smithy, the grinder, the, our spinning wheel. Plus here we can bow stuff. This thing. And then on the second floor, we'll have even more things. This will be such an awesome base. And it already looks better than that previous shack that we had. So there's still plenty of things for us to do. But we're going to do all of that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check it out my Miss Survival Let's Play. Click on the second card and you'll go to my The Infected Let's Play. Hop over to my channel, go to Playlist. And there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you.